It is joy and happiness. I mean, who wouldn't want to put that on their wall? And I mean, especially at a time like now. I met Carla through the festival. Um, we actually worked together because I was one of the docents for a while. And when she first saw Above Us Only Sky, she thought it was just a clever way of selling individual pieces. So this piece is really interesting to me, the way I found this piece. I walked by it so many times at the Festival of the Arts, and I thought all the pieces were sold individually. So I would walk up to it, you know, look at each piece and think, oh, I like this piece, oh, I like this piece, but then how do I just put one piece on the wall? So I, I didn't quite understand the concept of these individual pieces actually being an entire canvas. So together, not separately, but together, they are the narrative. But I loved walking by it, and I would go out of my way to walk by it just because it made me happy. <laughs> and that piece came to me in a flash again. I was in Panama with, with my husband and sitting poolside just watching and watching the birds waddle around and come up for a french fry, here you go, and then waddle back, everybody's happy, and then they fly up into the air, and the beautiful lighting coming up, it was a full wolf moon. Woo, it was so magical. That flash just came to me, and of course, because it was so magical, all these birds and everything had to be going around a spaceship. Don't ask me why, but they just had to. And so I, I, uh, I went home, made them all, took forever, didn't know how many I needed, and because I never got to see the piece, because they were individual, like 54 pieces, until I, until I got them up. And then backed away and went, wow, okay, cool, that works. Each day I wake up, I can see different narratives going on. And that's how you know you have such a great piece when it just continues to change over and over for you. Either it's a change in your emotion of how you feel about it, or, oh, I see a new story. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, look at the way he is. Oh, look at his face. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that before. <laughs> look at that little bird face on him. <laughs> You're one of my first people I go to see at the Festival of the Arts because it's going to be something different, something new that you haven't done, and certainly something that no one else is doing. Oh my gosh, the first time I saw your work, because it was so different than everybody else's there, and you were showing some jewelry. And I'm just like, oh, I've, ne I've never seen anything like this. Oh my gosh. And so by the time I finally found you, we, we were talking about your jewelry. And so then we, we talked and then we talked, and then we talked some more, and it turned into like Saturdays hanging out in my booth, so we got to know each other pretty well. And little did I know that Jeff had taken a picture of Wakabu, which was a work on paper. Jeff went, well, how about this piece? And he showed me, so that, that went into the deal. Prior to actually closing the sale, I decided to take a, a photograph, took it to a printer, had them scale it to the size, so they were actual size, cut them all out, took them with me, we put them on the wall until they liked it. Um, so then Carla and I worked together, arranging them, how it would work, and then left them up so that when my install guy came, we were able to match it up with double stick tape behind, see where it went, and then drill the holes. There's the only way I could figure out how to do it, and, and quickly. The cutouts were genius on my part. <laughs> Another thing that I've really noticed about you, Kate, as I guess I've known you, my word, pro probably over around seven years, yeah. and I see your work, you're in every medium almost. I mean, it is amazing how you have works on paper that we've purchased that are just awesome. And then, of course, the ceramics, and then the jewelry, which I just love. It is amazing how your work 
does have a cohesiveness because I can look at this and say, oh, this is, this is definitely Kate's. And then I can look at your works on paper and I'm like, oh, definitely, that's a Kate Cohen. So it's kind of a cool thing and a rare thing, I think, too, in artists to find them being so successful in all these different media. And so you're such an interesting friend. Oh, thank you.